Hi everybody, welcome to My Yoga Rebel. This is Joyce, our lovely assistant numero one. This is Trisha, our lovely modifier number one. And I'm still me, Meredith, right here in the middle doing my thing. And um, hey, you guys know what I learned this week? What did you learn this week? Well, I learned lots of things this week. But one of the things that I learned is that according to a new um, scientific journal, yes, I read scientific journals, we have that yoga can be as beneficial for your heart, for high blood pressure and cholesterol as cardio, like jogging or riding a bike. Did you know that? Makes sense. Yeah, you know what kind of yoga? Sun salutations, downward facing dogs, and even corpse pose, the way we end. It's just laying there on your back, heart healthy. And they advise that you do it at least once a week. So here's your one, let's get started. Everybody bring it to mountain pose. And you know that means we're gonna be doing sun salutations today, right? <laughs> that right? Did you hear that? Yeah, it's like, oh, sun salutations, my favorite. Yay! Yay. Get my group Jazz on. hands. <laughs> and let's just start, we'll start mild and easy. We're gonna take the shoulders back. And roll them, nice and easy. About three more, get that tension out of the neck. I hear things going, <sighs> I think that's Trisha. That is. <laughs> and one more here, it's not me today. And forward, same thing. We're gonna loosen up the shoulders first, start working through the joints. Pull your belly to spine, we all feel bloated. So if you feel bloated, <laughs> concentrate on that. Hold here, wiggle the toes, wiggle the fingers. Inhale up. Start reaching the fingertips up and we're going to drop them down nice and heavy and your chin is going to go to chest. Four more times. Nice, clean, big breaths. Two more times, lifting up strong. Kind of separate the ribs when you do that. And last one, inhaling up. Relax that down. Little chest expansion, start small, open up, lift the heart. We were talking about our heart, so we would say, hey, this one's for you. And two more nice deep breaths. Remember you got a fold in the back here, you got a heavy folding ball in it, so that you really feel the arms hang down. And relax that off. Right arm, we're bringing it across. We got some jamming going on again. Our, ne our neighbors. This could happen if you're in a hotel room, huh, Joyce? That's correct. It could be interrupting your yoga flow. You just have to learn to block that out and bring it back. Relax it down. Or as our super awesome cameraman has been experiencing, it could be going on at 4:30 in the morning with your party hard neighbors. I don't know that he's doing yoga to blow that off. He's like 911, but you know, I think at 4:30 in the morning, I'd probably be doing that too. And bring it back. Inhale up. Let's take it halfway to our gorilla. And let's walk that gorilla over. Right knee's gonna bend and then the left. Hey, you know Uptown Funk's number one digital download this week. Get you some. Oh my gosh. Right? One more each side. I mean, I just don't want to lost one. Yeah. <laughs> Pull that head away from the tailbone and lift it up. In up. All the way up. Little arch here. Pushing those hips forward. Let's do a little chair flow, ladies. Down, booties down. That way we can be like we're up down. Okay. We're gonna do two more. Last one. Bring it all the way up right here and swan dive. Start dusting the mat, get things warm. All right, Bruno, you can't be suing us because it's coming through the walls, baby. We ain't playing you here. Hold and step back right into Warrior One. Reach those fingers up really strong. The hands are strong. Arms are strong. Pressing those feet in firm. Get that knee bent. We want to make sure it's going over the heel. Inhale. Let's take it down. Step back to downward facing dog. And we're gonna walk the dog right here. Right heel taps, and then left, right, left. Get your rhythm, it goes with your breath. Inhaling and exhaling through each heel. Three more with each. Last two. Final one. 
Hold your down dog strong. Head's a little lower. Try to lift your booty up a little higher. Think about being an inverted V. And walk it forward. All the way up. Inhale, let's round it up and stack the back. Woo! You don't have to leave that part in there because I did that. Arch. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. There's a party going on right here. Go right there. And step back with the other foot into that warrior one. You got to work with what life gives you people, right? When life gives you lemon, make lemonade. When life gives you a party next door, party where you are. Unless it's 4.30 in the morning and you're trying to sleep. Yeah. Not so much. And if you're over the age of like 35. Now anybody under 35 is probably going to that party. But yeah, it's like, thank you, Randy Travis. We love your party atmosphere. And take it down. Step back, he keeps it up, we'll be digging up his bones, or actually we'll be digging a whole horse bones. Ben's about had it. Walk the dog, right and left. Again, we wanna loosen it up. One more with each. And that strong hold. Again, head is lower. Push back through the shoulders a little bit stronger. Really pull that belly to spine. You think about the core. Inhale, let's walk it forward. Little steps all the way to the hands. Head is heavy, wiggle it out. Inhaling, round it up on the exhale. I'll try not to do anything crazy and throw you girls off. <laughs> all the way up. Very nice, hands are by the side. Let's reach across right again. Big stretch, a little bit bigger this. Go round. Inhale, we're gonna bring it back. Relax it down, it's so heavy. Shake it out on the way. Other side, up and over. Pressing into the heel as we reach across so you don't fall over. Inhale, here we go. Coming back to the center. Both hands up, sit in your chair. And we already warmed up with that nice chair flow, so we wanna sit our booties down, our butts. Glutes, our buttocks, down a little bit further. Palms are going to come in. Let's twist over to that right side, bringing the left elbow across. Tuck it in tight. I'm going to keep the head up above the bottom here just slightly. Inhale, let's bring it back to center. Hold. Into arch on your next exhale. Make it strong. Press into the heels, hips come forward, bellies pull the spine. And hopefully you just got a really good grip on your wall now when you did that. Inhale and bring it back all the way down. Take it over to that other side. Oh no, there goes my voice. <clears throat> Allergies in Texas. Tree pollen. We're under attack. Alien invaders. Oh, my white car is yellow. It's terrible. <laughs> I've never had a white car, so <laughs> that's new. <laughs> yeah, it's the, the tree pollen has been crazy lately. Inhale, let's bring it back to the center and hold. And lift those toes up, make sure you're sitting back into the heels using the muscles in the back side of the body and into that arch. Hips are forward, keep your chin neutral. You don't want to drop your Head all the way back. Tabletop coming forward. Make sure you keep those arms out parallel. They're just an extension of your torso here. Inhaling and we're gonna bring them to the shins. Gorilla. Head is coming away from the tailbone. Imagine it getting further and further away every time you do this. Hands drop to the mat, step to downward facing dog. A little plank flow here. Let's warm up the rest of the body and up. The last two. And one more time, pushing up strong. Right foot's gonna lift up to three-legged dog. And drop the heel towards the butt, and we're gonna open that knee up. 
I love this. This is one of, they say, that was the number one yoga poses that men should do. I always want to take this further over. <laughs> yeah, you can tip it all the way over, but for... But I'm the modifier, so... You're the modifier, so you need to stay where they don't be like, what's she doing? And extend that foot back up. Make sure to square your hips when you do it and release it to the floor with your own muscles. Don't let gravity pull that down. Plank flow for five, ready? Up. <laughs> Holding back up in the down dog here. Really lift that rear up and we're gonna take the left side up to three legged dog. Up as high as you can and then slowly lower the heel. Keep that core engaged. It'll keep you from feeling like you're gonna fall over. And the leg is gonna extend back, squaring the hips with the mat first. Head is low, release it down. Walk your feet forward all the way to your rag doll. Head is heavy. Right arm, we're gonna take it up, lift it up to the ceiling. Keep your fingertips or your palm on the mat. Inhale, calm down. Other side, coming up. Try to keep the legs as straight as you can, but you can always give a little bit of bend. Don't force anything. Listen to your body. And release. Inhale. Ragdoll's gonna round up. Stacking each vertebrae up. Take your time with it. go across the Red River on the cool side with the Boomer Sooners, we call those roly polies. Okay. <laughs> Bring it up. Right foot's going to step back to try and pose. I'm like, pole. Core's engaged nice and strong. Legs are straight. They're both forward facing. Tabletop here. Stay right where she is because she's modifying. But Joyce and I are going to step our feet up off the mat over to the right. A little bit different, a little more challenging, working on keeping the hips facing the mat. Inhale, and we're coming back to the center. We're all together, lower the knees. Joyce, push back to child's pose. Stretch that back out. 
Really let it be heavy, your rear is so heavy. Forehead is relaxed into the mat. One more nice deep breath. And as we exhale, we're going to come back up all into modified plank. And then we're going to take it back all the way to full plank here. And hold. Remember, the wider your feet get, the more work your plank is going to be. So as you're progressing, try to challenge yourself like that. Now right here, Joyce and I are going over to the left. Field trip. Field trip from the feet with the plank. Try not to step on a doodle box. <laughs> 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 My son used to watch something called the doodle box. I, don't know. I, was gonna say, I think that's something from like Dragon Tales or something that my kids used to watch. Some doodle bugs. Doodle bugs? Seems like it should be a song. Doodle bug, yeah. Doodle bug rock. Step to the center. Very nice. Knees down to modify. And child's pose. Remember, the forehead relaxes down, and if you need to, you can always open your knees a little bit to make yourself more comfortable as you sink down. But I feel all alone. I like the way she loves One more very big inhale. And that exhale transition by flexing the feet and lifting up to down dog. Core is engaged in down dog. And we'll see where your heels are. If they're flat, stay here. If not, we're going to walk the dog a little bit more. We want to get them there. And hold. Pushing back into the heels. Up with the rear. Head is lowering. And walk that forward. All the way to the front of your mat. Wiggle it out a little bit. And bring yourself to Gorilla. Pull the head away from the tailbone. Make it strong. Make it very firm. Think table. Be the table. Very zen. Reverse swan dive up. Inhale. We're going to forward fold and our right foot's going to step back and press the lunge. Or it can stay straight, it can be here. Whatever kind of lunge you like. Inhale, palms to the mat, step to downward facing dog. Really push that rear up, and we're going to chaturanga. Elbows are in, it's like a plank, scooping forward and up belly. And scooch butt. Turn the feet, lift back up to downward facing dog. Lift it up as high as you can. Really get up. Right foot's going up to three-legged dog. We've already went through a lot of these, so you know what they are. Here's the trickiest move of all. We're going to curl the knee in, bring it towards the chest. Foot's going to come out by the feet. We lift up. Ta-da! And your crescent lunge on the other side. Okay? And I'm going to put on my shirt for some reason. <laughs> Don't know how that happened. Inhale, palms to the mat, step back to downward facing dog, we like it here. And from here, you can either hop to the front like boom, or you can walk like boom, and reverse swan dive up, all the way to your arch. Little arch, and into the chair, nice and deep. If it comes over here, I'm gonna flick it. Don't touch my friend. Your friend is that way, he's lost. Two more nice deep breaths. Inhale, here we go. Up, swan dive. Left foot back into your crescent. He's coming at me now. I'm going to be The guy's turning around. You better run, sucker. <laughs> Palms to the mat. Step to your downward facing dog. Get that rear up nice and high. Warm it up. Strong V. Chaturanga. Elbows in tight. Scoop it forward.
squish your butt cheeks. Watch out, little roly poly. I will squeeze you with my butt cheeks. Yeah. And turn. Well, actually, that's never going to happen. Bring it up. That's an empty threat. He's like, I'm so not scared of that. <laughs> Left foot's going up. Free like a dog. Here's that tricky move. Bring the knee in all the way. Foot forward and up you go. Sink it down. Hands are up. Nice and strong. Phone books on your head. Two more nice deep breaths here. Last one, and then we're gonna fold. Palms to the mat, stepping back to your down dog. Engage the core, nice and strong. Bend your knees, hop or walk all the way to the front. Head is heavy, you're in your rag dog. Reverse swan dive up, quick arch, boom, and into your chair. Keeping it strong. Okay. Here we go. Taking it one more time. Big move. Up. Forward fold. Right leg back. Now as I start playing with my chaturangas and planks, because you know things like that happen in yoga, watch her. <laughs> when you're like, oh, I'm keeping I, calm. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> it's okay. Palms down. Step back. Downward facing dog. Right foot up, three-legged dog. No, wait, right foot down. <laughs> Chaturanga instead, how's that? <laughs> right here, turn the feet, bring it back to plank. Hold a little extra, 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 and then bring it back up to your down dog. Now we'll do that whole right leg up thing again, and I'll meet it this time. Bring it up. <laughs> The like April Fools. Curl that knee in, push it forward, step up. Let's drop a few lunges right here. Take it down. Four, three, two, hold. Strong breath. Inhale, palms to the mat, downward facing dog. Press those heels to the mat. Go ahead and walk your dog. If you need to rest a second, it's a good time to recover a little bit. I don't know whoever said yoga can't make you sweat. Bend your knees, hop or walk forward. They haven't done right. yoga. <laughs> that, so they haven't done yoga. That's who said that. Yeah. <laughs> Reverse swan dive up. Get that quick little arch and sit in your chair. Make sure that you're getting your rear down. That is up. And let's go back to that left side one more time. Dip, lift, quick little boom, forward fold, left leg back. And we are back in our lunge. Inhale, take it forward, palms to the mat, step back down dog. Hold. Chaturanga, holding that up dog nice and strong. Turning the feet, we're coming back up to plank. And Joyce, let's throw in a couple of knee strikes right here. We're gonna go, because we know people are starting to dust off bathing suits. Because bathing suits get dusty. One more each side, and hold. Lift up. All the way up to your down dog. And I know that made Trisha so sad. Good. Let's take the left leg up. We'll let you throw some in a minute. I think they're about getting the modification. I will, yeah. All right, here we go. Let's bring that foot forward all the way to the hands and rise. Get set, get strong, dip it down for four. Let two. Holding the last one. Thinking about how much fun lunges really aren't, but we do them anyway. Well, they are so much fun. So 
You work your booty so well. That's an old, that's a mm. that's a benefit. That doesn't make them fun. <laughs> All right, purple and take it back. Down that's what makes dog. them fun because you're gonna have such a nice booty. All right, so Trisha doesn't feel left out. We're gonna go to plank and let's go rotate right. Right. Oh, that's gonna do me. <laughs> no, you can go with like, us. Oh. Ready, center, and let's go to the other side. Couple more on each side, right? And center. Right. Boom. And one more time over to the left. Center. Extra chaturanga for bonus points. Because we like bonus points and extra points, <laughs> don't we, Joyce? Turn all the way up to down dog. Nice work. Walk that dog a little bit, recover. Hold, bend the knees, hop or walk forward, grab dog. Your head is really heavy now. Circle out those wrists a little bit. They are probably away both directions. Wiggle the fingers. And we're gonna reverse one that up. Big move, quick arch, little chair. So take the fucking clothes. <laughs> but that would be a lot of, lot of editing on the part of Ben. And let's bring that all the way up. Holding arch. Table drop. Start recovering your breath. Inhale and exhale. Sun salutations are a lot of work. On my birthday, I like to do hell a lot of them, like how old I am. <laughs> We're going to be doing 45 with one girl on this year. Yay! Someday I'll be sitting in the Guinness World Record. Oldest lady here in Chaturanga. And let's reverse one dive up. Right, that's going to step back into our warrior one. Two more deep breaths. Inhale, remember that the exhale should be a little longer. When you inhale, think about counting to five as you inhale. Three, four, five, and exhale. Shh. Count to six on your exhale. Extended angle, girls. Drop it down. We'll all go to the five first. Use your breaths. And lift that hand up, palm out, palm up, nice and strong. Top hand lowering to the floor, top hand is raising to the scalp. Inhale, palm to the mass, step to your plank. Lift that right foot up off the mat, hold it strong. Harder when you do yoga. Go ahead and walk it forward to that ragdoll. Inhale. We're going to round it up, stack it up all the way. A little slower. Feel each vertebrae coming up. The muscles are working. Very nice. Other side. Let's take it up. Step back into that warrior one. to the thigh, remember, we're all going here. Reach the cross really strong. Hand up. And 
and relaxing that hand down, other hand reaching up. And you can look at it if you want to, make sure it doesn't do anything crazy up there. Inhale, palm to the mat, step into your plank. And the left leg's going up. That down, I'm going to drop the knees. Everybody's in modified. Elbows are in super tight. Okay, so we're in a modified plank, super tight. We're going to do five little tricep push ups here. Three. One more. Hold and go into your child's pose. Relax it out. Inhale, let's bring it back, all the way to that modified plank. We put a little fun on it. We took our feet off a minute ago, now we can take our hands off. And Trish, I think a modifier can do this too. I think they can. Right, so we're over to the side now. We're gonna do a little tricep push up here. Five. Keep that core engaged. Two more. The last one. Give it a little hold, get your core in here. Feel the core a little bit differently over there, Joyce? You feeling that? Feel it. Feels nice, huh? Hands walk back. And you get to child's pose now, or Joyce will get mad at me. Yes. Oh, Nobody yeah. likes the moody Joyce. And of course, I know these two have caught on that we're going to have to go to the other side of that, right? I know. They're like, oh man, that means one more set. You bet it, bring it up. You don't pay me to be lopsided now, do you? Let's take it over. All right, squeeze those thighs together, level it up. Five little tricep push ups right here. We have two and one. And we're going to hold the plank. And squeeze our butt cheeks. And hold the plank. And squeeze our butt cheeks. Awesome job. Bring it back to the center. Flex the feet. Take yourself to regular plank. Give that a little go. Three, two, and down dog. Launch it up. Inhale, feet are walking forward, head is heavy. Shake those hands out. Push up hands, are like, yay, we did it. Reverse swan dive up. And stay here, right leg is going in the tree. Okay, we're gonna do our imitation of tree pollen. Blowing in the wind. Staying strong. Try to pull those hands a little more away from the from your tree branch over here and bent knee. And now we're gonna center. But we're gonna we're gonna grow. Extend up, separate the ribs. Find your focal point on the mat. If you struggle with balancing, remember to keep your foot low and find a focal point. Don't watch the television or your laptop. Find something on the floor, not too far in front of you, and focus on it. Palms coming together, hands to heart. Exhaling down slowly, releasing the leg. A little bubble boom as we go to the other side. Hands back up. Core is engaged, left leg into the tree. Focusing, find your center and blow. Get a little stronger if you can. Nice job.
job, ladies. Let's come to the center. And remember, we're gonna separate our ribs here. Try to focus in a little bit more, a little stronger. Hands to heart. Release that out. Inhale up. Forward fold, palms to the mat. Step back to downward facing dog. And we're gonna ease down onto our knees into tabletop here, all the way down, nice and slow. Position the hands right underneath the shoulders. Your knees should be under your hips. You should have a flat, neutral back, okay? We're gonna round it up into our cat. Inhale, and as we exhale, we're gonna change. Feet are flexed, head comes up, spines now arching towards the mat. Again, inhale up. And exhale down. Pick up the pace a little bit. We'll do three more. Inhaling up. Exhale down. And two. Last one. Neutral. Right arm, left leg extended out. You are super warm now, so if you can, we're going to go for that toe hold. If that's too much, just stay in our basic position with the arm and leg extended. And remember, if it's too much for you to have an arm and leg extended, you just keep a, both hands down and extend the leg. Inhale, releasing back out. Level up the head. It should be in line with the spine. And release that down. Other side, take it up. Try to keep your hips level to the mat. The back leg should be straight. You don't be doing this right now. Unless you're trying to kick somebody and knock them over. Toe hold. And that's okay in the privacy of your home, but don't do that in the yoga studio. Ooh, that's so they will the kick you <laughs> I mean, you could do it in my class, and I would think that was hysterical, but a lot of other teachers are not gonna let that kind of nonsense go on. You better make sure you know who you're kicking to. Yeah. Well, unless you want to make a new friend, <laughs> it's a good way to bond. <laughs> Inhale and extend it out. Oh, nice hold. Three, two, one. Relax it down. We're going to bring our knees to one side and drop our hips. Feet are going to come around all the way in front. Let's stop into butterfly because we've had all kinds of bugs crawling around. Doodle bugs. It's spring Doodle bugs. Now there was some winged creature that lit down over here a minute ago. Threw off my train of thought. It wasn't a bee, so class continued. Had it been a bee, you would have seen me run for the hills. And that is not a joke. That is a true, honest fact of my life. I've seen it. I've witnessed it. Yeah, it doesn't even have to be a bee. It could be some mock bee, and I'm still taking off. All right, both legs out in front. Wiggle them out. Wiggle your toes. Point and flex. Inhale up. Let's forward fold. Try to get your hands all the way over the balls of your feet if you can and gently pull back. If you can, keep them here. Keep them here. It can be right here, but think about every time, a smidge, every exhale, crawling out just a little bit further. Let the head go. I see a lot of times people are like, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it this time. It's true, just forget about it, do this, let it go. Inhale, we're rounding up. Also known as the Did You Shave Your Leg Today test. Right foot coming back, figure four. It's a big happy figure four. Sit up tall, phone books on your head. Fix yourself, be a proud four. Inhale up, forward fold, nice and strong. Exhale into it. Really push your heel in. Make sure your toes are pointing up. I don't want to be over here. I want the foot to be lined up nicely. Okay, left hand's going to stay and the right hand's going up. It's going to reach out behind as far as you can. Because obviously Joyce's nose itch and it gave her a very discreet way to scratch it. You have to do stuff like this. Inhale. And bring the hand back. We don't say cut unless you see butt. <laughs> Keep it PG-13 now. That's right. 
Hands are going to come up strong. They like this. They're going to drop down by that aforementioned butt and the foot's going flat and knee is up. Right here we go to this fancy reverse tabletop. You're a one-legged table. Bring it back down. Control. Don't want to hear any butts flopping on the mat. Take it down. All the way. Open this out. Here it is. Wrap to the side. Inhale up. And we're going to reach out for the toes. Wherever you can, it's fine. Toes are in gold. Keep the core engaged strong. And I'm just going to come up slightly while those girls hang down and count stars. And if you have trouble with that, put your hands here and just come forward. Because that's going to let you get from the hips. A lot of times we're just doing some curvature of our thoracic area of the spine and that's not going to get into the hips. So this is a good way to progress. Come forward as far as you can with the hands there and then reach out for wherever you can get. And that's a, that's a nice little aid to help you. Inhale and we're going to all round up. Legs are going to come back. Here we go it out. Inhale up, forward folding again. Maybe you're a little deeper this time. Head is heavy. Inhale. Slowly rounding up on the exhale, stacking the vertebrae. You want to bring them up controlled and careful. All the way up. Left leg's going to become your finger block. And just slide it in. If you're, you don't have to bring it all the way up here. Sit where you're comfortable. It should feel fairly relaxed. Both hands. Inhaling up strong. Exhale as you fold. Relax as you hold. Right hand stays where it is, and left is leaving. Take it up. Really stretch it out as far as you can. And follow it with your gaze if that's comfortable. Inhaling. Hand flowing back to the foot on the exhale. Head is a little heavier. Inhaling up strong, hands are going to the ceiling. And they're dropping down. Fingertips pointing to your booty. Bring that foot to the mat. Knee is bent, lift up, reverse table. Top. This is like the tabletop where you have to put that extra extension in because it's yeah. the holidays. <laughs> like, it's your buffet tabletop now. <laughs> Family's coming. Family's coming. <laughs> Inhale, lower it down. Controlled. Opening out. And I'm going to keep my hands here, just like we talked about. And the girls are going to inhale up. And reach out to your toes. And I'm just going to bring it forward right here. Wiggle the legs sometimes. That's going to help keep the core engaged. And really think about where you can come from the hips. Pressing the booty into the mat. And when you feel like you've come as far as you can, then you reach out, okay? And then you can relax and breathe through it. We're gonna let the hand just slide up the legs as we stack back up. And this guy wants to come back to the center. He's happy and we're going to slide it back into butterfly. See if the knees are a little closer to the mat. You can start getting out and take measures. 
Slide the feet out just a little bit, and we're gonna come again from the hips, so you can put your hands behind you if you need to. Just remember to come from the hips first, and then relax into it as far as you can. If you didn't wash your feet today, this one can be optional. <laughs> you can put your socks back on. Yeah, we're gonna bring it down. You know, hygiene's a thing, we can all check it out. Inhale, let's come up. Very nice. Take both feet back out, all the way. And pull that right knee into the chest. Give it a hug. Sit in tall, we wanna sit in tall, we're gonna wiggle it. Okay, now look at your other foot, is it doing something lazy? If it is, get it back in the game, okay? If it's not on time out, you still got a job. Circle that ankle around. Other direction. Hold, and we're gonna cross it over. Sitting up a little bit taller, really wanna stack up, phone books on the head, opposite shoulders coming to the knee. And we're gonna hold in here. We wanna make sure that we can feel that. Reach around, arm can rest on the mat, arm can reach out like, help me, help me. Right here, big move, hands going up, up, reaching. We're rotating as we do, use those obliques. It's gonna drop down on the other side of the knee and we're gonna open out. I'm gonna reach that out. Two more nice deep breaths. Keep that core working, belly to spine. When you exhale, you should feel like you're pulling back that belly button, popping that balloon. And bring it to the center. Hands on the calf, bringing it up, sitting tall. Again, first thing you wanna do is check the back. We didn't go, hmm, sit up. Lift the calf only as high as you can with a good straight back. We can look in the mirror and see if we're cheating that. So everybody looks really nice. Sitting up tall. When we release this leg, it's gonna cross on top of that ankle. We're gonna inhale up. Hands go just like that as they forward fold. Head's a little heavier. Walk your fingertips out a little bit further if you can. This actually, with the ankles crossed, lets you have a little bit um, greater range of motion through the hips. So we optimize it, use it. Inhale, let's bring it up strong. Relax it down and then cross. Wiggle the toes. The toes are light to wiggle. Left leg, we're gonna bring that knee in. Sitting up tall again, pointing and flexing. These things are always important. My ankle's making all kinds of noise. It was like, it's like your neck was earlier. Cross, circle it around. Both directions. And give yourself a little, you're looking a little stiff, relax. Cross it over. The joist is like, I can't do that. <laughs> Let's not get started on that again. <laughs> I go home and I practice. Oh, I've done so much abs this week, I can feel that, everything. <laughs> All right, sitting up tall, we're rotating. Again, don't let your posture slump. Reach back. This is like, Jack, no, just hold on. <laughs> no, I've been talking about Titanic. Oh, they Titanic. <laughs> yeah. Dylan was acting it out, only Rose drowned. She got confused. Oh, of course, Rose was drowned. He's so little, it was like, Rose, don't let go. And I'm like, it was Jack. But that's okay, he's 12. Maybe, maybe in his version it is. I'm not even like sure that he's watched. I mean, you know, <laughs> I really watched that with his sister when it was like six, seven, eight. I don't know. Keep it strong. Pull that belly back to spine. And we're going to come up and around. Sitting tall. Reach around to the other side. Keep those shoulders square. We're going to center 
here on the exhale, sitting up tall, hands go on the calf, and we lift it up. And again, this is a good time to think about the posture, make sure you didn't do some of this. It's like being introverted versus being extroverted. Keep the breath strong, relaxed. Two more nice deep breaths. Let me hear you like an obscene phone caller. Very good, inhale. And exhale. Leg crosses at the ankle. Inhaling up. Forward fold. Left hand's gonna be on top of the right. And really use this. Like I said, you get more range of motion in this a lot than you do in a normal forward fold. Last deep inhale. Exhale is going to round up. We're going to cross the legs to our modified lotus. Hands are going to come around behind. Little chest expansion. Lift up the heart. Chin is relaxed. Nice neutral neck. We don't ever want to anger that area. It holds enough tension all, all, all by itself. It doesn't really need our help. Relax, fingertips out to the side. Get your booty in the mat good. Wiggle it down. You want to hold, make sure that you got your butt cheeks holding the mat down. Right side, going across. Don't let the mat escape. And slide my fingertips out so that I can get over a little further. And the right side, my right butt leg is a little heavier holding me down. Joyce likes it when I say butt. Booty. <laughs> right butt leg. Right butt and leg. I oh, and leg. leg. I missed both hands. So I'm like, sorry. Butt leg. My butt leg. <laughs> Legs. Booty. Really? Inhale. Really? Let's bring it back to the center. Fingertips are down. Joy shuffle. And other way. Now the left side's pushing down. That's where the, we want to have that good counterbalance. Inhale, we're bringing it up. Relaxing it down. Hands on the knees, round it out. Relax into it. It's okay to let the back round now. This is just a cat-cow modification. And we really want to think about how much Curvature we can get in the spine here. Pull that belly back towards the spine. Inhale, we're gonna sit up strong. Shoulders draw back, chest sticks out, head is up. And the spine is arching towards the front. Relax to neutral. Relax that out. Right arm's gonna come across the body. The left is gonna get it and support it. If you're tricked by this and you're trying to figure out where my hands did, put your left hand here, put your right hand across, bring your left hand up to the right shoulder. Make it heavier. Fingertips up. So we got it to the center of the body, the other one's going across. And remember, we stop here, unless we can do this without making the wrist look really strange. You feel like you're tormenting your wrist to get your hands like this, it is not necessary to do that. And it's not helping you open up anything through the back of the shoulder blades, which is what this pose is intended to do. Now relax your chin a little bit, keep those elbows up. We don't want them to be sitting down here. We want them to lift up as much as we can. Inhale. Let's relax that down. 
all the way. Hands are on the knees. Back is sinking out, super heavy. Bellies to spine, it's anchoring us. Core's engaged so we don't fall over. Inhale, lift it up. Chest forward, head up. Spine curved. And back to neutral. Give it a little shuffling around, wiggle it out. You don't want to get all tense. And then take that left arm across. Remember, we put our right arm right in front, left arm across, right hand comes up, pass your left shoulder so it's your box star. You should be your own cheerleader. Right? I mean, unless you can afford some, like hire some people to run around and be like, rah, rah, you're... But most of the time, I think the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders are busy. Two more deep breaths like this. That hand is really heavy, let it go. Exhaling that out, fingertips going up and going up. We stop here. Wrists are straight and stacked. We don't want to have anything going on like that. We can take the hands around palm to palm if our wrist integrity does not change. Think about where your elbows are. Are they resting down here on your chest? They're not that tired. Get them up. Chin can relax. Thumb core is engaged. Stack those vertebrae back up. We tend to want to cave in on ourselves in this one. And that's not what we want. We want to keep the strength of the pose. Back is so heavy. That is even heavier. Chin is to chest. Really start lengthening the breath even more. Bring it all the way up to that cow modification. on your head, spine is curving forward, pushing your sit bones into the mat, and relax that off. Feet are going to swing to one side or the other, nobody cares what side you pick, there is no right or wrong on this. We want to slide forward just a little bit, especially in here because there's bugs crawling around. Right. The doodle bug. The doodle bug. We don't want to like get doodle bug in our hair. <laughs> Inhale. Especially most of our head, let's clean here. Round it down, all the way down. And when you work in a gym, you don't wash it all that much. So when you do, it's like it's a not sacred it. day. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to be messing that up. Hands go down on the floor. Feet are going to come in a little bit closer to the booty. Lift it up. The booty, that is. Okay, we're up strong. We're going to do a little five count bridge flow. So we're rounding it down. Start letting the tension out of the lower back. Usually feels really good. Again, inhale up, round it down. Think about that five count inhale. Longer exhale. Couple more. Last one. Put the right foot up on top of the left knee and pull that in. Foot in the air, let it drop down. We're not wasting energy holding it up. We're wanting to stretch through the hips, through the glutes, and get a little hamstring. Foot hop 
drops off, it's back by its friend, flat on the mat. Get them positioned in, close to the booty again. Hands are down, little drum roll please, butt up. Round that down. Another little five count. Really want to relax those vertebrae. And if you didn't notice at the time, sun salutations can be a lot of work. We want to relax and stretch it out. Last three. And pop the breath. Remember, we had a slightly longer exhale than we did inhale. We were inhaling out for at least five. If you're stalling and you want to inhale up for 32, you do what you want to do. One more time. Okay. Now we're going to put that other foot up on top. Pull it in. Remember that the foot in the air is going to relax down. We don't want to worry about what it's doing. get very tight as we age. Not that we're aging, but we're all in the world. Inhale, <laughs> round it down. It's one of the Whatever. <laughs> Feet are close together, knees are falling open. Butterfly. One thing I have learned, if you're doing this with a guy, a lot of men do do yoga. Don't ever tell them that this is really called the goddess pose because they're never going to want to do it again. Stick with modified butterfly. They don't love being butterflies, but they like it a whole lot better than being the goddess. Knees are coming back together, closing it down. <laughs> right foot up in the air. <laughs> Fine flex. The drawbridge is drawn and it's going to stay drawn. Two more. And we're going to bring it down. Other one. Take it up. Hands on it wherever is comfortable. And we're pointing and flexing. Circle it around. Both directions. And we're going to release it down. Pull those knees into your chest. Use the core to do that. You just round it through the back as you can. We're going to rock side to side. Sticking with that roly poly theme. Big doodle bug. bug. I have a hard time saying doodle bug with a straight face. <laughs> it's a burlesque I want to see it. It's a burlesque like word. Burlesque. That explains a lot. Well, my mimi said roly poly. Burleson viewers out there right now. Hey, Burleson viewers and your doodle bugs, doodle box. Let's all be dead doodle bugs. <laughs> right here, we want our feet to be parallel to the ceiling. Okay, we want our knees to be heavy. We're looking at like 90 degree angles here. Hopefully you love math and geometry like I do. But what we want to do is just think about them staying nice and open and really letting that back flatten into the mat. It should feel really good. Inhale, and let's bring the legs back together and relax them down. We're gonna stretch them all the way out. Hands are going to reach overhead, pull it away, pull that belly back to spine, chin is stuck to chest, take that right foot up, we're going to grab it, wow, bigger stretch, okay, so stick with the one we did before if you're having um, trouble with this here, right here, and again, you can point flex. Is keeping those tendons and ligaments supple is important. They age too, they get brittle. 
They don't have the same kind of regenerative properties that muscles do. We're gonna circle it around both directions. You can be like, wow, she got weird looking feet. She knows this. <laughs> Inhale, dropping it down. Reach it out again. Head is relaxed, chin is to chest. Pull yourself apart. You're really stretching. You should feel that through your entire body. Next exhale, we're gonna grab that other side, bringing it up, fix onto it wherever is comfortable for you. Remember, you can stay in the prior modification and we are pointing and flexing. Circling. We like circles, both directions. Hold. Make it a little heavier. And relax it down. Hands are reaching out one more time. Chin is to chest. And stretch yourself apart as far as you can. We're gonna bring those hands into the heart. And once they get there, we're gonna open them up like a T. And we wanna open through the shoulder. Just let it relax. Wiggle around a little bit. Get your body comfortable. Here, we want to think about the breath being even deeper, even more relaxing. Eyes can close. The only thing I'm going to tell you to do now is put your hands down by your sides, and you don't need to see me do that. You know where your sides are. Palms are down. Feet can open. And we're in our corpse pose. So we've covered the three things that they recommended being the best for your heart, for high blood pressure and cholesterol. This is also one of the best things you can do for your stress levels and cortisol. So it's a win-win pose. I mean, who doesn't want to just have a timeout for themselves? So close the eyes and let yourself relax. Get comfortable. Wiggle around. Think about you're on, you know, on the beach and you're relaxing. If you don't like the beach, make snow angels. I'm just not a snow girl. I mean, I like to ski, but I don't want to go lay in the snow. But you could. Start our cleansing breaths by inhaling and reaching overhead, hands coming to heart. On that exhale, I want to remind you that optimally you should stay in this pose at least 10 minutes. Inhale, that is the maximum, or the, the maximal for the cortisol um, reduction in the body. 10 minutes a day. One more time. Let's pull that down, hands to heart. Everybody say namaste. Namaste. See you next time.